I found 11 of the easiest jobs that you can do on your phone. And most of these jobs don't require a college degree, previous experience, and they're relatively easy to get. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a vehicle replacement specialist. Imagine being a matchmaker for people and their dream cars. In the fast paced world of wheels and deals, the vehicle replacement specialist is the go-to guru for getting you back on the road. In this position, you would assist clients with replacements for their vehicles through research and communication. And you'd primarily be working for automotive or insurance companies or car rental agencies. And this is a vital role that combines automotive knowledge, problem solving skills, and customer service skills. Interesting fact here is the best selling car of all time is the old and reliable Toyota Corolla, which I've actually had myself. Now, vehicle specialists make about $64,000 to $99,000 a year. And that's pretty good, especially for something that you don't need a lot of experience to get into. By the way, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. So overall, this one is pretty good. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, my team and I spent hundreds of hours making this video, doing all the research and the video editing and everything. And we make sure to do that in order to provide you the best possible information. So if you appreciate that, go ahead and give a like to the video. And let's jump into it with number two, which is going to be an outreach and enrollment specialist. And this is a position that focuses on healthcare, insurance, and social services. And they connect communities with these essential services. And typically, you're going to be employed by nonprofits, healthcare organizations, and government agencies. And an interesting fact here is the global healthcare market is expected to reach $11.9 trillion by 2025. And outreach and enrollment specialists make about $45,000 to $63,000 a year. So yeah, you'd be spending a lot of time outreaching to people who might need these services. And so you have to have good customer service skills and it's a little bit of almost like a sales job as well because you have to convince them. So overall, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can pause if you'd like. And by the way, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's gonna be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be a listings manager. And in this position, your mission would be to optimize Airbnb listings to maximize revenue and ensure smooth operations. And you'd be orchestrating everything from guest bookings to property cleanliness and ensuring a harmonious experience. So as you can imagine, this is a relatively new position because Airbnb is relatively new. And there are people out there that run and operate dozens or even hundreds of Airbnbs. And of course, they need somebody to take care of those. So this is almost like a property manager, but for Airbnbs instead of rentals. And in this position, you can expect to make about 75 to $131,000 a year. So overall, I really like this one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a sales opener. And this is somebody who specializes in starting sales conversations for companies. And they are often employed by telemarketing companies, sales departments, and businesses where they focus on outbound sales strategies. And this is kind of like being a key master for conversations. They unlock doors to potential sales with just a few words. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 79 to $143,000 a year, so it's extremely lucrative. Also doesn't require a college degree or previous experience in most cases. So yeah, another really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen and you can check them out. By the way, one of the most lucrative types of sales that you can get into right now is known as tech sales. And this is a career that I've helped a ton of people get into 
on the channel. I actually have a bunch of interviews of people that have gotten into tech sales, and most of them did not have a college degree or previous experience. And if you want some free training on exactly how you can do that as well, I'll put the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and you can check it out. Next is going to be a search engine evaluator. So this is kind of like being a digital detective where you reverse engineer search results to see where things went wrong or things went right and make them more accurate. And in the vast ocean of the internet, the search engine evaluator is like a lighthouse guiding the way to relevant and accurate information. So basically a search engine evaluator scrutinizes and rates the relevance and quality of search engine results. And over time, this helps to refine and improve the accuracy of online searches. They're typically employed by tech companies, particularly those with search engines or large digital presences to enhance user experience. And search engine evaluators make about 46 to $76,000 a year. And again, it's another one of those careers that doesn't necessarily require a degree or previous experience. So yeah, another really good one. I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a social media manager. And I'm sure you've heard of this one before, but there are lots of different types of social media managers out there. For instance, YouTube managers. And basically what you're gonna be doing is crafting and curating engaging content for brands. And you can use storytelling and visual skills unique to social platforms. And they're typically hired by businesses of all sizes from startups to large corporations. And these businesses would use them to enhance their online presence, establish their brand, and of course, make more sales. And social media managers make about 51 to $83,000 a year. Now, the way things are heading, of course, you can be kind of like a generalist social media manager, of course, but in many cases, it's best to be a specialist. So you could specialize in a particular platform like LinkedIn or Instagram or YouTube. And I'm seeing a ton of opportunities out there for platforms such as YouTube. So if you're somebody who spends a lot of time watching YouTube anyways, you probably sort of have a sixth sense about what works and what doesn't work on the platform. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10, because I think the creator economy is the future. Pretty much all businesses are moving towards making content because they see how essential it is. And by the way, if you want to skip the line and start creating content yourself and build up your own brand instead of working as an employee, I do actually offer coaching for a few people per month. And you can apply for the coaching by clicking the link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. I make over six figures a month with this channel alone, and I only have to work on it four hours a week in order to maintain. So if you're interested in being able to make a full-time income from YouTube, go ahead and click that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a client services specialist. And this is like a superhero of customer satisfaction. And basically what they do is they provide product support, they manage client accounts, and they usually do it primarily through email or over the phone. And they're typically employed by companies in various different industries, especially those with significant customer service needs. Like a bridge over troubled waters, they connect customers with solutions, ensuring a smooth journey. And it's actually much cheaper to simply keep your existing clients rather than trying to get new clients. And you can see in mature markets that companies switch towards having a really good customer satisfaction experience because it just makes business sense and it's also the right thing to do. And client service specialists make about 41 to $59,000 a year. So I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of about seven out of 10. It's incredibly easy to get into this one. Doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it's a good starter job. Or it's a good job if you just want to switch out of a job that you really don't like. Here's some opportunities right here that'll pop up on the screen. You can go ahead and check them out. And by the way, comment down below if any of these jobs interest you, if you want me to make more videos going more deeply into them, or if some of them you don't like. I want to hear what you have to say. Next is going to be a virtual life insurance agent. And this is somebody who sells insurance plans remotely. So they use the internet in order to sell insurance. And these professionals are often hired by insurance companies, financial planning firms, and independent agencies. And like a financial tailor, they stitch together the perfect safety net for each client's unique life journey and situation. And life insurance agents make about 59 to $101,000 a year. So yeah, this is a pretty untapped market. Uh, there's, of course, life insurance agents have been around forever, but a lot of them are not using the digital world in order to attract clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity 
opportunity score. By the way, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a real estate disposition sales specialist. And they basically focus on selling properties to investors over the phone. And they utilize their expertise in real estate as well as persuasive communication skills. And they're mainly employed by real estate agencies, investment firms, and property management companies. And a fun fact here is apparently about one in 10 families sell their homes because of paranormal activity. There's a cool video I saw on YouTube that's a day in the life of a disposition agent. You can check it out if you're interested about the career. And disposition agents make about 62 dollars to $96,000 a year. Typically, it doesn't require a college degree or much previous experience. You can get into it relatively easily, and it's kind of a sink or swim type of career. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be a call analyst or engagement professional. And this is a position where you make outbound calls to corporate executives. And you're gonna be gathering business intelligence for economic development. And they typically work primarily for the state and regional economic development organizations. And they're basically aiming to attract business investments. And this role differs from a typical call center job by focusing on strategic business engagement rather than sales or customer service. And call analysts make about 44 to $66,000 a year. So this is another one relatively easy to get into, doesn't require that much previous experience. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen and you can check them out. Next is going to be an email outreach specialist. And they basically craft and execute outbound email campaigns. So another way of saying this is they cold email people. And this is used to expand business reach and engage potential clients. And they're sought after by marketing agencies, corporations, startups, and any business looking to enhance their digital marketing strategies. And cold emailing, in my opinion, is one of the best skills you could possibly learn because even if you're not using it for business, you can use it to reach out to people for networking. So it's a skill that you're gonna be able to use for the rest of your life. And outreach specialists make about 45 to $67,000 a year. So overall, I really like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen and you can check them out. By the way, I did a video that went viral. It's called the 10 no interview remote jobs that you can land. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.